I think we all found that if we did a reasonable day's work, we got a fairly duff program out. If we all worked to the highest standard we could possibly achieve, then we began to get programs that were really worth watching. Mm. The difference with the gear in, in the days we're talking about is that it was fixable on site. Yes. Yes. We're at much yeah. more than solid state stuff now, that you had spare boards, spare yeah. tubes, you always had a set of spare camera yeah. tubes, yeah. Uh, you know, and soldering arms worked, you know, and people would be in there sort of fixing boards. And you could see the components. Well, that's, yeah, right. yeah. Such, that's what I mean, the gear yeah. was such that you could mend it, yes. but it if wasn't, and when it, it went But wrong. it was more necessary. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. just the maintenance of it, it was the fact that its overall performance was generally fairly low. So to get it up to a good standard, you had to, Keep it was an art form, yeah. almost, to get the performance out of the gear, yeah. um, both in pictures and I'm sure sound as well, but in yeah. particular getting yeah. the technical side of cameras up, up to a decent standard yeah. um, was a continuing challenge. It wasn't just a question of getting it to work, yeah. it was getting it to work and then work very well. But well put his finger on that because in those days you had to make things work. Mm. Now, nowadays things generally work anyway, yes. and yeah, if they right. don't, you throw it away and get yeah, another yeah, model. Right. Yeah. In those days we had very yeah. few yeah. of anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah.